I'm filming with the Avatar collection and I can't get over this little upper mirror. It is just the cutest thing ever. Like, oh, it's so cute and it's matching my makeup, matching my top. I'm very peri today, but I love it. I was really contemplating if I should film today or not because it's just so gloomy and I rely a lot on the weather for my lighting. And when it's really gloomy, the quality can look a little bit grainy, but I thought I would just push through because honestly, New Zealand weather, you'll never know what the weather's gonna be like. Like it could literally thunder right now and then in a couple hours, it could be like no cloud in the sky, super sunny. Like that has happened before. So it's like, I don't really trust the weather app. I really almost like I feel like when I've done YouTube for so long, I've always looked at the clouds. I kind of know like what's going to happen. <laughs> could I be a weather forecaster? Maybe. There is a possibility today that the sun could come out. So I was like, let me just film. And this is the look. This is my water tribe look. But to give you guys a bit of behind the scenes of today's filming, we have a really big boy of a video to film. I'm filming my annual ColourPop palette guide. And every year when I do this, the palettes just get bigger and bigger and bigger. I remember, I think in 2017 or 2018, I did it. I think there were like under 10 palettes. And now in 2022, I have 101 palettes to talk about. Yes. 101 palette guys like i will say there are a lot of like little quads so it's not like 101 big palettes but still 101 palettes that i'm gonna talk about and i'm actually gonna be re-swatching everything getting product shots of everything when it's a bit sunny so that's not gonna happen today i'm like mentally preparing myself for it i don't know exactly if i'll be able to film it today it depends on how the weather is but i did prepare everything i categorized everything so if you guys can show love to one specific video of mine i would really appreciate it if it was that video because that video like i put a lot of effort into all my videos but like that one it's a lot So I got the DJI Pocket 2. This is a birthday gift for myself. I know I'm talking about my birthday a lot, but I just feel like I always need like a reasoning or like an excuse to purchase things for myself. I have a problem. Like I just can't buy anything expensive for myself. So I have to get it for like a special occasion. Like I can't just buy something just cause. So yeah, this is my birthday, but technically it is for work. It's what I'm going to be using when I go out to vlog. And I think this will just help me be a better vlogger, especially when I'm out and about, because even though the G7X, which is a camera I recommend, like if there's one camera you could buy and you want to start YouTube, or if you just want to vlog, G7X, like I swear by that camera, like I would be fine filming like my main channel beauty videos on that. But I think because I'm just so anxious and shy when I go out that vlogging in public especially even that camera is small when it's on a tripod it's still quite big and obvious but this it's literally like the size of my hand like you can't even tell so even if I'm talking to it I could be like this it's not so obvious and that's what I love and I love the white color so I got this one off Amazon in New Zealand, we don't have the white color, which is just so typical. I feel like in Asia, they have a lot of cameras in white that 
I wish we had here in New Zealand. I would recommend like anyone to vlog even if you're not gonna upload it, just vlog to capture the moment. And of course like, you know, be present. I think it's a really nice thing that we have in this day and age where we can capture things. So even if you're not gonna upload it, like just upload it and keep it private just for your own memory because I look back to my Japan vlogs all the time, to my previous vlogs all the time and imagine years in the future how much more special that's gonna be. So I got this little guy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's touch screen. This mini screen is touch screen. Look at this. Subway for lunch. I love Subway. It's so simple, but so good. Like, all right, guys. So I'm on the pocket two. Happy Saturday. I'm gonna be going out today and I'm gonna take it out with me. I'm gonna test it out, use all the functions or try use all the functions that I can remember. I'll also see how the battery life is and how long it will last me throughout the day. So yeah, we're gonna head into the city. Got a few errands to run, but I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Like I really love it. Like I can actually kind of hide it in my hand. So it's very, very subtle, but I'm excited. I don't think the quality is going to be as great as like my G7X or my M50, but I think it's just going to make me feel more confident vlogging in person. And I think when I go out, I can actually talk to the camera, hopefully. Um, but I don't know. I love it. I love how small it is. It fits into my smallest handbag as well, which is great. I got the garlic prawn butter pasta, eggs benny. We got the white rabbit boba milk tea. Whoa. Try. It actually tastes like white rabbit. It is D-Day guys, it is the day of the concert of GOT7's online homecoming concert and I'm so excited for this comeback. I did see clips yesterday and I also did see the title track. I know I should not have clicked on it but I just couldn't help myself. I did buy tickets for the online concert tonight. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go to stream it but I bought them because I feel like this comeback is really really important and we're gonna put our money where it matters, okay? But I did buy the tickets off Melon, so I'm so excited. I need to get batteries for my Agabon because it's completely dead. And I'm just gonna go to the grocery store and just grab a bunch of snacks and some food and just enjoy myself while enjoying the concert because honestly, I don't wanna be that girl. I really don't wanna be that girl, but I do feel like this is probably going to be 
like the last comeback in a very very long time having OT7 because JB Jinyoung the military service is coming up so I don't know if we'll get another comeback before then it's just my theory you know obviously I'm happy if they can but just realistically speaking we don't really know so I really just want to enjoy this moment and have some good food while I'm enjoying it. I'm so excited. It's not until a couple of hours. Right now it's four o'clock. It doesn't start till seven and obviously I gotta figure out where I'm supposed to watch it. I think it's a nice way to just end off the week. Today, this look, by the way, I did film, if you can tell. It is Red Velvet's so Feel My Rhythm makeup concept look. I mentioned in a previous video that me and my friend Joy, we are creating a joint channel recreating K-pop concepts. So yeah, we finally filmed it. I know I mentioned it so long ago. It's just like things kept happening. We kept pushing it back. We we're waiting for things to come in. So yeah, we're finally doing it and I'm so excited. Like I had so much fun filming today, like truly. But I'm glad it's over because it was just so much work today. Like just doing everything on your own from like concepts and like outfits, like just filming yourself. It's a lot doing it one man show. So I'm glad it's over and I can enjoy the concert tonight. I'm so excited. It's such a good way to end the week. Of course, we have to wear green today. Got my batteries. Dun dun dun! So here's the menu for my main. I got an assortment of sushi, and then afterwards, I'll move on to my snacks. I got sour cream and smoked salmon on crackers. I forgot the cucumber. Um, then I got jerky, some chocolate. Got my cider here as well. Ready to go. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. 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 Yeah, it's a little b